I came here to this school five years ago as a newly qualified teacher. Um, so I've been here all my teaching career. Obviously, we teach the national curriculum, we teach GCSE. I just wanted, when I first came here, to provide something a little bit extra for pupils, something really different. Um, so it started off with a Year 7 Science Club, and we found that so many pupils wanted to join, so many pupils wanted to come just to mix chemicals or set things on fire, that, you know, and you don't always get the opportunity to do that in lessons. So then the next thing was a Year 8 Science Club, because when the Year 7's pupils left, to go to the year eight. They wanted to carry on in the science club. We do other things for then for other members of the community because I thought, you know, how can I get other people, not just from this school, involved in science? So uh, we run an adult class for um, members of the community, parents, teaching assistants, who might want to come and do their GCSE science. She will herself say she's the original geek. She's not a geek, she's great fun. Um, and the children absolutely love her. They enjoy working for her, they want to please her, they do their best for her and the reason why is because she makes all her lessons very, very interesting and makes them inspirational for them. Before I was a teacher I was uh, doing research at the University of Liverpool, um, I was working towards my PhD but I just found research very solitary. I was lucky enough to go on to the Fast Track Teaching Programme uh, and I've never looked back since. I, I spend hours looking for new ways to teach things. We did speed dating the other day, you know, sticking stickers on each other. They go around finding information on science out from each other. Now they come in saying, can we do speed dating again today, miss? And it's not really speed dating, it's, you know, science information. This department couldn't do so much without everybody getting involved. And that includes the teachers, the technicians, you know, they're, all, they're always willing to give the extra mile. Um, and that's what makes the team so successful. Teachers, technicians, all, all the sorts of people you know who've been nominated for this award, they are enabling the scientists of the future. It's science that really gets me going. And I think it's part eccentricity. I think you do have to be a little bit eccentric to, to want to buy things like plasma balls and lava lamps to put in your classroom. Um, but I think it's when the light bulb, light bulb goes on in the pupils' heads and you see that, yes, you've got that, you know, uh, that's what it does it for you. That's what gives you the satisfaction in the end. Uh, I mean, one of my first students that I taught is just applying to university to do dentistry. You know, that just makes me feel, the fact that I've, you know, had some small part of that just makes me feel really good.